Okay. Now, um, the first thing to do when you're doing this is to uh, make sure you're sober. So, and, uh, just take a little X-Acto knife. For these, when you get these, you see that thing on the wall? That's well, that's a kit for one horse. So you get that, but it'll all be laser cut. So then you, when you peel it out, you peel it off that sheet, you get you get a thing that looks like this. And then you just take the uh, the knife, good eyes. And you get it going like that. Just peel this back. The only thing you want to be careful with is it not doubling back and sticking it on itself. But if you do, it, 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 it's not a disaster. You can just pull it off carefully. The stuff is extremely workable. How durable is that vinyl? This stuff is incredible. I mean, this stuff is uh, uh, the, the manufacturer's five years warranty. Uh, and that's, that's five years warranty like on a van out in, in Arizona sunlight, desert conditions and stuff. Uh, as opposed to like an merry-go-round, it's in the shade, in the, in the trailer, or else under a cornice most times. So, uh, but then the durability, you know, I mean, the vinyl has proven itself on, on you know, game, I mean, uh, food trailers. That's what's beautiful. Most everybody knows how, how it holds up with food trailers for the last several years. So what we're doing though is, everybody also knows in the car business what, what uh, automotive urethane does to protect the ride. Like rides I painted 22 years ago are still in operation like the day I painted them because of urethane, automotive urethane. So here's what to do. This one here would be, you paint, you know, you, you base coat your whole horse this way and then, off, you know, you, tape off the hair and you spray the hair separate and that's what you guys do on your own and then paint the hooves and then all this you, you tape off and you paint all the saddle area brown uh, a, a fleet color brown I give you so that that way this normally would be just all solid brown to work with uh, so all you do is you just and you get diagrams and a DVD with it so you know you just position it to where you just position it so it goes right to the edge. And then you just let it fall. You let it touch, like this. And then you just lift up. Make sure that the center is on there. So you get it like that, and then, uh, and that wasn't so hard. The idea is you just get it positioned, and then, then you know, you, you don't run it with your hands. You just use one of these little doodads you'll get with the kit that's got a little felt thing. Doesn't take a lot of pressure, and you just run that so that, you, any, you know, so you don't get bubbles and wrinkles out. But this stuff is so incredible. You know, 15 years ago when they were making this stuff, you know, it had, people had trouble with bubbles and all that stuff, and they've got the technology down so that when you're putting, people putting on a whole big fun house, they do this stuff, you know, without bubbles. But this is the perfect application for it because you're only talking about little pieces. So it's like, even if you get a bubble or something like that, and you say, uh-oh, I got a bubble, oh dear. All you do is you just, you pull it back, Okay, there's the bubble, and then you just you just do that, and the bubble's out. You know, and then you run it right right along the edge. And just boom, like that. And any places where you where you get a little tiny wrinkle, you just burnish it down. This stuff is so great because you just burnish it down with the edge of the, of, the, of the tool and it makes the wrinkle just flatten out completely, go away. And then, um, and just do all that. And then, uh, the, uh, and then like here, what I did is I make these so that they're just a slightly tad larger. So that this way, 
if you, if you position it on there, you don't have to be like, oh my god, it's sixteenth of an inch off. This would be fine. Then you just take a little razor blade and you just you just snip run that edge. So that way you don't have to put it up and down like five times to get it exactly right. It's close enough and then you just you just trim around the edge. And you know, and the beautiful thing about this is supposing supposing you get it all put on there, and then you said, uh oh, I put this, this is supposed to go on the angel horse, and I mixed up the theme, you know. Now, the, every, every piece got a number on it. Like this one, is, you know, the, it had L2B. So L means large horse, two is the, the number on, of, the, of one of the pieces on that horse, and then the last one is B, that, that means vineyards. And then A means angels, and then C would mean pirates, so each side of the thing. Supposing, but see, what, by, instead of sending you a whole pile of 50 different pieces, you get a sheet, each, one horse is on one sheet, so it's hard to mess it up. But supposing you screw that up, then you say, uh-oh, you know what? I have got to take this off and put it on the other horse. So I'd say, okay, this was the horse I was supposed to put it on. So, Try to stick the whole thing down at once. Just get it vaguely positioned there, and then you start just in the middle. You start from the center, and you go out to the edges. Run, and then run along the edge here. Stick, stick the edge down. Pick all the edges down and then trim the edge. So that, see, one of the things that's good about this is you tell, if you don't like destroy it. If you have, if you make a boo boo, take it off and put it on another horse, it doesn't just stretch out of shape and you're saying, oh, I screwed it up. Plus the fact, when you buy a kit, you know, for 30 horses or 20 horses, you get a full extra horse. So that basically, you can do the first horse on and screw it all up, you know, and that's just, that's a free one for you, you know. Now you're also doing the artwork for the cornices as well? Yeah, and those are the artwork for the cornices. Now you can do a close-up of this, like the cornice art is, is like, everybody knows the Wave Swinger ride from Germany, you know, how it has that, that just killer, beautiful, old world uh, scenery on it. Uh, that you can't get any painter in the in, you know hardly in the United States to paint, and you don't you know who can afford to pay him that you know. But that's what I want to do with the cornice. So you have it; it follows the whole thing of an antique, old-time carousel that you you have to go to a museum to get. You know, so this way you have scenes like this, scenes like this, and I've got scenes that are like you know um, like African lions flying down with zebras and stuff. Uh, and then, you know, King Tut and, you know, the pyramids and all that. So that it's all historical stuff all the way around. So out of the 12, you got a whole good variety, but it's all like oil painting kind of level stuff, you know? And, uh, and that stuff, you just, you know, you just snip it out. And I mean, like, I know Chance was selling their, their things for 113 per little doodad there, you know? And, uh, you know, and we're talking about like these things for 115 a horse. Uh, uh, and then like I'll, those things I'll probably uh, hell I'll probably be selling those for like I don't know maybe 